Um, I told you guys I was going to be cleaning off my table and doing some hauls with you guys, and I was not just saying that. I have a lot of things to show you guys, and um, hopefully you enjoy. This one, um, I got some of these from antique stores, consignment stores, online, a little bit of mix of everything. This one is new with tag. It has, still has the Kate Spade. I like how inside it's got the different colored um, elastics. I thought these were cool and that they would go nicely with some of the bangles that I have. Um, hopefully, because it does have a little discoloration and stuff, but it's not bad. I don't think anyone will notice. Um, and like I said, the one still has the tags on it. So it's just, these are costumes, so they're not always perfect. And uh, I really liked how the colors were. I thought that was really cool. So paid a couple dollars for those. Um, like couple like 10 15 each but Kate Spade I love it this I think was 18 I've had this before I'm gonna sell this again this one is a size seven and a half Silpata you can tell it's got a really big Silpata mark on here um and it's huge. It's a huge turquoise. Let's see. Doesn't oh, it does kind of fit on here. It looks like this one's coming more a seven and a half than a seven. But um yeah, this is a great great ring. I don't remember if I where I sold it before, if it was on my Etsy store or Poshmark, but it is a nice expensive Silpata ring and it's it's gorgeous. You, you guys can tell on there. Like it's just huge. So that's what I will do for that one. Um, this one's really gorgeous too. I don't remember this one. I don't think it was signed, but it it very clearly seems to be sterling silver from what I can see. Oh, yeah, it is. It's marked inside here. And I did get that root canal, guys. So that was super fun. But now, like, it doesn't hurt to breathe anymore. So there's that. It's really cool olive color. This one's a seven. That's really cool. Um, this, I think this was 13 to $20. I can't remember what, but I saw this and I'll bring you in and give you a tip. I was going to do a, um, short on this and I probably still will, but I, anytime there's solid and it's like smooshied like this, this actually kind of looks like some are supposed to be smooshed like that. And it could just be the look, but like this one is too, where the other ones aren't. I don't know. doesn't seem to be in great condition, but um, that clued me in. And I just, I definitely had a feeling about this. And it is marked. Uh, it's marked here too. Seven fifty. So it is gold. I don't find gold too too often anymore, but it's also marked on the thing. So decent amount of gold. I don't know. It just, it just seems so smushed. I almost feel like, 
I should just scrap it, but I don't know. I could use the I can use the money for the crown for a crown that I need to get. So like it still kind of hurts still because I think the you know stuff around it's inflamed and it still has to heal. But my goodness, it had hurt really bad before. I was crying last night. I've never gotten a root canal before, so. This is not marked. I don't know if it's maybe gold over silver or something. It's like marked Taiwan or something. I thought this might be gold. I don't think it is. But it's a really neat ring. See, it's like flipped over. It's a big size. It's a cool ring though. It's a nine. So, I don't know. I picked it up. I thought it might be something and I don't think it is. This I definitely got online. And I have a bracelet to match this. This is JAI, which is John Hardy's um, brand. I think I paid $30 to $40 for this. I This is sterling silver. I got it because um, I love the alligator, alligator print on it. And there are different necklaces to match that I would love, but they're so expensive. Um, I just kind of got lucky to find this and that um, bracelet. So, I don't know. If I ever find that necklace for a decent price, I will probably grab it. But otherwise, I, I don't know. What do you think? So, if I have the bracelet and I have the earrings, what kind of necklace do you think will match this? Let me know. Curious. And then, I got this. These earrings. These earrings are gorgeous. I'm very into like ethereal type things right now. And you can see it's faceted, but it's got this like jelly type cabochon on it. And it is marked uh, DAC. And it is sterling silver. I think it's marked like there also. But it is a uh, designer. It's got the wing backs. A lot of times the wing backs are good designer quality. And these are gorgeous. I think, I don't know. It would have been anywhere from 10 to $20 that I paid for these. And then I also got this. I don't know who this is. It's not Nikki Butler. It's um, marked... S T S L G S L G nine two five India, and it is a beautiful paradise. It looks just like a Nikki Butler, and it is stunningly beautiful. Absolutely love it. It's in great condition. Looks like this on the the clasp, and then I got this long one. I just grabbed this because I thought it was different. It's got these interesting, unique links on there. thought it would be cool with a pendant or something like that or to just layer up some of the longer necklaces. All right. See some, some other stuff. This one was $18. I was kind of surprised. My husband quite liked this one too. I'm clean up the floor over here before grand puppy comes. Pam Finship 8397. PM Designs 1997 Sterling. And look, it's this little um, baby on a papoose. And it is so sweet. 
It's kind of unlike anything I've ever seen. I thought it was so unique and weird. And that's why I picked it up. This one was 14. It is, isn't it? It's very different. I've certainly never seen anything quite like this. Um, this is Michael Malad or McLeod, something like that. Um, he does a lot of pieces for museums. And it's a bean, it's a brooch, it's in bronze. It's really cool. His pieces are so nice and they're expensive. And so I just, I absolutely adored this. Pearls are in perfect condition, but it's in good, good condition. Peas in a pod, yes. And I just, I love that. This, if anyone's interested, email me. This is gold over sterling. Um, needs to get clean, but it's sapphire, emerald, ruby, and rinse and repeat. I'm pretty sure with the size I in the color of the ruby, you see how they're kind of pink, and the emerald is kind of cloudy. It looks like real stones to me and not simulated stones. So one thing, remember, diamond uh, the gem testers can tell you what its best guess is of a material, but it cannot tell you if that is simulated or natural. Um, and simulated is way cheaper. Well, it's not cheaper because it's actually expensive to make, but it, after you buy it, if you try to sell it back or the value of it, it's not nearly as high as natural. So natural is always gonna be the best. Um, so make sure that you guys keep that in mind when you're buying things from people, ask questions. Is that simulated? Is that natural? Um, what's your best guess on that? Is there inclusions? Like if you have a big emerald and it doesn't have inclusions, or you have a big ruby and it doesn't have inclusions, it's probably simulated and not real, unless it's really expensive. So just something to keep in mind. So this one's definitely gonna gonna be listed. This other one was also 18. And I just thought it was really cool. So it's on this long chain here. Goes along with my like ethereal look right now. I'm just really into kind of etherealness. I don't want people to get cheated. Like, see, you can see inclusions in here. These are probably natural. Um, they look like, I don't know. I don't have a gem tester. So it's always kind of my best guess. These are such beautiful stones. They look like aquamarine or um, topaz, blue topazes to me. So nice though. Yeah, the chain is so cool, isn't it? And the way that it goes in here. I just thought it was so, so cool. And they're wire wrapped. And then I've never seen anything like this. It is a shell that has had um, crystals grown on it. And I just thought it was so cool. Yeah, definitely a cool chain, definite, um, different. And really cool stones. I just thought this for sure was worth $18 back yet a little bit. I get one of these for crafting. I don't know what's in some of these. Oops. 
this. These were 18. They are Kendra Scott. I do quite like Kendra Scott. She makes some really great things. These are most likely simulated opal. Although, come on, we're gonna go close again. It's a kind of Barbie pink. I kind of love it. And it's on both sides and it says Kendra Scott in there. Aren't these the best? I just thought these were so kind of unique. I love the color. I don't don't have a lot in this color. So I, I just thought those would be really neat to wear. I love Kendra Scott's stuff. This was $8.99 from Savers. These bags, they're a mystery. They have a little bit of everything in them. This is a J. Crew. Um, I don't think there's any stones missing. J. Crew makes nice jewelry. Look at that. It's stunningly cool. So that is awesome. This one was $10. It's older. Art Deco, I would say. Got a C clasp. This is a matte stone. It definitely has things wrong with it. Apparently, definitely is my word of the day. But I really loved this lady here and how old this was doesn't seem like it's going to fall out of its setting. It's got the C-clasp. So I still thought this had enough cool factor to be worth it. And because it's like this, you could you can put a chain on it and use it. So I thought that was awesome. I'm gonna see how often I don't say definitely. No promises. All right, I went to this consignment store. I spent $261. Oof. And most of the stuff I just I had to have. She had some incredibly unique stuff. She was kooky, okay? I love her. This lady was so kooky. <laughs> but she had really neat stuff. Um, have you guys ever seen amper like this. It's adjustable. So this one, the way that it is, is seven and a half. Is that not the most awesome ring? I love this so much. Um, I just thought it was really unique. I loved these. Um, and that was sterling silver also, by the way. Aren't these amazing, the beautiful crystals in there, the geode, um, sliced agate, I'm guessing. And that's what the back looks like, this natural stone on here like this. I just thought it was so cool. Um, now that I have the two earrings, once I can exchange the other earring, it would be really fun to pair those up with other earrings in my ears. And I think 
actually these kind of go quite well together, don't you think? The unique shapes. All right, you guys know I am a sucker for artistic things and nature. Pretty sure this is sterling silver. I think this is from an artist. She had a lot of stuff from this artist. D-Y-N-A. Looks like uh, that sterling silver clay. Good morning. It's night here. And a little opal. And it's, it's a brooch. Amazing. And it'll look really cool with this. I think this is the same person. Uh, no, R-O-U-S-S-E-L. Roussel. That's the name on here. I've never heard of it. Yep. The, she had just the most unique things. And even this clasp is unique. It looks like that was patterned off after nature. Right? With the toggle clasp. And then there is this, which is definitely patterned after nature. Sterling silver. This, which is like some bean thing. Sterling silver, same as these, like some pod. And then this awesome nut pine cone thingy, majigger, and it's long. How cool would this be with the, with this ring and these earrings? Like, and then I can also even do that as a brooch somewhere. Like, yeah, that's so cool. I absolutely love it. Um, it's so unique. I've never seen anything like it. This too, I think this is also sterling silver um, because Oh yeah, it does have a marking down here. Eight hundred. Eight hundred silver. This beautiful organic rose. It just matches everything. That's so cool. And then there was this. This is a adjustable ring. It is marked 925. It is a crazy swirl. It's <laughs> just really neat. Currently size 9, but again, it's adjustable, so there we go. That's better. Like, it is, like, right, like, kooky in the best way I've ever used that term. I love this. Oop. And then this one. This is sterling silver. I don't know if I love it on this necklace or not. I kind of feel like it would be better on... A a necklace that moves a little bit, but you know, you can put it on anything. <sighs> this glass, guys. This glass, it's artisan made. Again, somebody brought in their best artisan pieces. And I bought as many as I could. <laughs> and it looks different on either side. I do think I'm gonna switch out this. I don't like how stiff it is. I don't know, we'll see. I love that. So the, although those things, um, what is it, two something? 
I don't know. I lost. I lost my. Oh, 261. Eh, I don't think that it was terrible. Because I got some awesome things. These were a dollar at an estate sale. I like that this one moves. I've not seen the one that moves with the rhinestone. It's so cool. Yeah, it still hurts, but not as bad. Just a pair of earrings. I don't think that these are sterling, but they're very pretty. Studs. I thought this was so, so neat. I forgot how this opens. I did have it open, or maybe I never did figure it out. but I thought the glass on this was just really unique with the foiling, like a hat pin. And then I thought this was neat. It was a dollar. It just goes like that. I think I don't love the silver part because it's unraveling but I like everything else about it and it, it's got a marking on it it's with clay somebody did a good job so you know I hate leaving things all right same lady super kooky got these for myself for now because they're really expensive I spent $200, $200, can't believe I spent $200 on each of these pieces. So $200 and $200, um, I can't believe I did that. But I will show you guys, that's probably the most I've ever spent in one go. I think it was an emotional day and I was just like, I deserve it. Like today I had pizza, I've been doing good. Um, I've been doing good on my diet. Well, not diet, I'm just trying to eat better. And I was like, today I deserve pizza. I had a root canal and I deserve it. So this has the bracelet stones, lace agate, chrysocolla, ammonite with am am amylite inlay, caraco, lake green turquoise, and white buffalo turquoise. Which the white buffalo turquoise looks like those, um, trees and that's the turquoise here which is a color of turquoise i've never seen look at that amylite and there's some gold um this one i think is the agate and this is the chrysocolla yeah it's it's a lot for me so this is made by an artist and I just I I'm a sucker for artist made pieces and it did fit me pretty well yeah because it like look it actually fits for a toggle clasp it's not super big and right it's just and this one, I've never seen a stone that looks like that. And, oh, it does. So that's why I just, you know, I just love it. I thought it was a very unique piece. It's going to be perfect for fall. And, you know, things like this, if I do eventually want to sell it in the future, it's, you know, it's worth more than that, I think. It is a very special piece that you will actually never find something like, like another one like this. You know, um, people say that you're never going to find this. This is special. This is actually special. This is handmade by somebody with the amazing stones. So that's actually true in this case. 
I'm not making fun of anyone. I'm just saying, you know, do your research, people. Find out if something actually is that special or not. Do your research. This was the other piece. I tried it on before. She said this was um, some kind of ruby. And had the name of this. I thought it was moss agate, but it's not. It's something else. And then there's this really cool peridot up here. And all of these chains. The chain pieces are made. Same, same designer. I don't know the name. Look at even the clasp. Like, that is an amazing job. This is a unique piece. This is one of a kind. Ocean Jasper, I thought maybe, but I don't think it is. I don't remember. But like, it is so unique and it goes with the other piece too. And I just don't think I'm gonna find anything like this. So I just, I love this. So, yeah, then we'll do one more. We'll do one more. These are more, not just for me, I think. <laughs> I also got this. I don't know why I got this. I don't need any more bags. Home on Earth inspired by nature. But it was felted. It's a felt purse. And it, it looks like marble. And it was $6. <laughs> this is how I get in my mess of stuff. Right? Like, it's cool. So darn cool. If anyone's ever interested in like purses or anything like that that I show either, let me know because up for grabs also. Um, but it's really neat. Look at how it looks inside. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I can't help myself. I think a lot of this is savers. $3.99. Let me see. It, there is a mark on it. It's probably gold filled or silver. Yeah, 925. Dane Craft. So. Ah. Nice little rope, which these are nice to stack up. So nice little sterling silver rope. That one I will be listing. The, this was two ninety nine. Pretty sure I bought it for this piece. Yeah, this is a Joan Rivers. The other two aren't anything, but this is a... Uh... Ah! My craft pieces are crashing over here. This is a Joan Rivers. This one was $7.99. There we go. I have so many purses, guys. It's so crazy. I have coaches and all kinds of stuff. This is 925. Um, it is Navajo Pearl. I don't know if it's um, native made or not, but that is what the Navajo Pearls look like. I thought it was Carolyn Pollock at first, but hers are usually signed and there's some onyx so this is a really nice piece for eight dollars that was kind of a steal mm -hmm. 
<laughs> These are little coaches. Look, there's a little coach tag. And it was six ninety-nine. Little hoopies. Oops. That little coach tag came off. Come on. Come on, little coach tag. It's so cute. So really sweet little coach pair of earrings. These were $7.99. These are neat. They're $9.25. They're like diamond drill bit look. <laughs> That's probably a crazy way to describe them, but... Um, Look at how cool they are. So they're like, have a really fun organic type shape to them. Very different. They're heavy, super well made. for this one. I'm sure I bought this for the chain. The pendant's cool, but the chain is cooler. The pendant is really cool. Somebody made that for sure. Love glass. Nine two five Italy. So it's a nice rope chain. Been really into layering lately. $3.99 for this one. I think I got these from my crazy, I don't know. I think, I feel like I got them from the crazy savers. There's one savers that is like, so expensive, but every once in a while you can find stuff. But like, their prices are out of control. I'm pretty sure this is sterling. Like, look. Definitely looks sterling. This is Mark 925 here. Yeah. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is sterling silver. So that's nice. I'll take the charm off and scrap the charm and then list the bracelet eventually. This was $1.99. This I remember being the steal of the day. This is Silpata. I love Silpata. It's nice and long with these really neat stations. I might be up too close. I kind of like things a little closer. Some people do, some people don't. So this is the Sapata chain. I already have this. This one um, will definitely have to be listed. And then this was $3.99. It is $9.25. And it is an R. And it this is this is heavy. It's really beautiful, actually. Um, 
painting. It's really cool. All right. So that is part of what is coming off of my table and what has been laying on my table for a little while now. Not too long, though, because... I haven't had these for that long, but I'm glad I grabbed these because these are all super fall and these, all these super fall and I'm going to have fun putting some outfits together. I would like to film that. We will see. Um, I try to and sometimes it just doesn't work. So I will try to, though. Um, some of these pieces might be listed, um, but a lot of these pieces I did pick for myself. Um, these ones here. I don't know why I just left them on my table instead of putting them out and wearing them. So that's something I'm trying to work on, um, is organizing trying to list more pieces on Etsy. My Etsy shop is Princess Casserole US. Um, you can email me on some of the ones that I said would be for sale um, or for boxes. I've been doing uh, mystery boxes for 55, including shipping if you're in the US. Um, and I am trying to downsize so that I can have some of the things that I really like displayed and viewed so that I can pick them up quicker and easier and wear them. I'm sure I'm not the only one struggling in that. Give me your tips and tricks for um, organization or letting go and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!